What are the odds that I will have enough? Absolutely not. So it's gonna be a little bit of little vodka, a little bit of regular vodka. Let's top that up to 60. I'm sure the experts watching this, if they are, are screaming at me. But a gal's gotta do what a gal's gotta do, you know? And welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero professional bar experience other than a passion for making mixed drinks at home and showing you how I do it. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. So in today's video, we are going to be making a cocktail that is one of my favorite summer cocktails to enjoy relaxing by the pool or if I'm on holidays. And I'm actually pretty shocked that I haven't made it on this channel yet. So if you haven't already guessed, today I'm going to be making a porn star martini. The porn star martini has, as far as cocktails go, one of the naughtier, more salacious names out there. There are some other really, really good ones. There's a screaming orgasm, a slippery nipple, but the porn star martini is probably one of the most popular cocktails out there. So its salacious name clearly has not done it any harm, but behind the titillating name is actually a really delicious, decadent and just gorgeous, gorgeous cocktail. So if you have not tried it before, you absolutely must. So where did the porn star martini come from and does it actually have anything to do with the adult film industry? Well, before we get into the history of the porn star martini and I show you how I make it at home, I would like to take a second to tell you about my Patreon. Not only is it a great way of supporting my channel, but you can also have access to exclusive content. You can get exclusive discounts on my newly launched merch and you can also see the footage that is just too tipsy for YouTube. So let's get into the history of a porn star martini. So as far as cocktails go, the porn star martini is a relatively new one. I mean, I'm sure given the name, you wouldn't really think it was one from back in the 1800s, but it actually was invented just at the turn of the century. So it's roughly 20 years old. And unlike some other cocktails out there that have a contested or murky origin story, we know exactly who invented the porn star martini. It was created by a person called Douglas Ankra. I'm really hoping I pronounce his second name right but it was created for the lab bar in London. Now according to Douglas the name porn star martini is not actually connected to anyone in particular but rather he wanted a name for this cocktail that was sexy, fun, unpretentious and just a little bit exciting. Douglas himself has said that this drink is the ultimate party starter and to be fair you can't really get a better description for a cocktail can you? And I have to admit I've had many a porn star martini on many a fun night out and I would agree they are a little bit of a party starter they always end up in a good night out so aside from this drink's name being sexy and provocative the cocktail itself is delicious and extremely well balanced and there's an exoticness to it with the ingredients that is just really really fun and it is no surprise that this cocktail is right up there with one of the top ordered cocktails and has pretty much remained there for the past 20 years which as we have looked at with some other cocktails on this channel that have kind of gone in and out of fashion the porn star martini really has lasted it is such a heavyweight and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon so now that i've given you a little bit of history on the porn star martini let's get into its ingredients So in case I haven't mentioned already, the porn star martini is a vodka based cocktail. And I've said this before, I feel like vodka cocktails have been really neglected here on this channel. So I'm trying to do them a service and Honestly, I don't know how I haven't made a porn star martini here yet. I really enjoy them. But as I said, it is a vodka based cocktail. And typically what you would use for a porn star martini is some vanilla vodka, which I absolutely love. Vanilla vodka is so delicious. It's great in an espresso martini. It is so, so good. So much so that I'm down to the absolute dregs of this bottle. So I'll see if I can get a shot's worth. 
I may have to be blasphemous and top it up with regular vodka, but at least I have both the absolute ones here. So I'm sure it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm just gonna finish this off anyway because I need to buy a new bottle. But if you don't have vanilla vodka, you can use regular vodka. You can also use a kind of vanilla flavored simple syrup as well. It's fine, whatever you have will work. So yes, we are going to use our vanilla vodka or regular vodka, and then we are also going to use some passion fruit liqueur. So I have some of the bowls, passion fruit liqueur. The smell of this is amazing. Oh my God, it smells like summer. It's so tropical smelling. So we're gonna be working with this, but for this recipe, we are also going to be using some fresh passion fruit. So I actually shockingly was able to get some in my local supermarket. We're going to use half of the passion fruit for the garnish. And then we were going to use another, either half or a whole one, which is gonna go into the shaker as well. So there's gonna be fresh passion fruit in this drink. It's gonna make such a difference to the flavor. It is going to be gorgeous. So if you can definitely get your hands on some passion fruit. We are also going to be using some freshly squeezed lime juice as well and we are also going to be using some simple syrup or sugar syrup and again if you don't have the vanilla vodka you can maybe use a vanilla syrup if you have it but don't worry it's still going to taste good oh my god i almost forgot probably the most i don't know disgust ingredient of the porn star martini is the prosecco which is served in a shot glass as somewhat of a chaser or to accompany the cocktail now there is definitely contesting views on how you serve the the Prosecco? Do you pour it into the drink? Do you leave it and is it drank as a shot before or after the cocktail? Do you sip it? We will talk about that later, but yes, Prosecco is a key ingredient. I do have a magnum of Prosecco here, but rather than opening a gigantic bottle for not that much, I'm going to just use one of these smaller bottles, which are pretty handy to have for porn star martinis. Okay, so now we finally have all our ingredients. Let's get to making a porn star martini. Okay, so first things first, let's add a nice chunk of ice into our shaker. Then we are gonna go ahead and use our vanilla vodka. Now, as I said, I don't know how much is left in this bottle. So we're gonna do 60 mils of vanilla vodka. What are the odds that I will have enough? Absolutely not. So I'm gonna have to top it up. So it's gonna be a little bit of vanilla vodka, a little bit of regular vodka. It'll be fine. We're still gonna have a great time. So let's top that up to 60. I'm sure the experts watching this, if they are, are screaming at me. But a gal's gotta do what a gal's gotta do. You know, cocktail making is all about being resourceful. That's what I like to promote here. So 60 mils into your shaker on top of your ice. Then we are gonna do 30 mils of our passion fruit liqueur. And again, this is super sweet. So you really don't need to go over the 30. It is going to add so much flavor. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Like it's one of those sweet things that I love the smell of. It kind of reminds me of um, like petty flues or like yogurts, if that makes sense. You know, you'd get like a stunning yogurt with like bits of passion fruit in it. So good. So now we're gonna go ahead and do pretty much just a tablespoon of lime juice. I mean, half a lime is plenty. So I'm just gonna measure it here and do, ooh. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit more than a tablespoon, but that's fine. And then we're gonna do the same again for our simple syrup. So a tablespoon, or if it was a bar spoon, maybe like two bar spoons or one big one. There we go, that's loads. Oh, this is going to be sweet. Okay, so now it is time to cut the passion fruit. I always find these a really weird fruit to work with. I don't even know if this is like right. Oh yeah, that looks good. It's kind of um, hard to tell because it's not a common ingredient that I work with. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your passion fruit and you're basically going to scoop all of your lovely innards in. Now you might be looking at this and going, oh my God, all the seeds are gonna go in the tin. And yes, they are, because we are gonna double strain and that is gonna make sure that only the nice, you know, puree juices are gonna go into the cocktail and all of your seeds and stuff are not going to go in. So we're gonna be fine, don't worry. That, oh my God, it smells amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice shake and then we can strain it in. Perfect. So I have a stunning little coupe glass here ready to go. Okay, so we are ready to strain. And as I said, it is very important to double strain this because you're gonna stop all of those seeds. I can see them all getting caught. So by doing this, you're probably gonna lose a little bit of the foam, but I'm telling you it's worth it. All right, so it's probably really hard to see, but in my strainer is all of the seeds. So none of those are getting into our stunning cocktail, which is what we want. So our porn star martini is almost finished. I'm just gonna cut another one of our little passion fruits. This really sounds like I'm cutting cardboard. They look so beautiful. This one is prettier. So I'm just going to gently plop it in and then 
The fill line is not up to the top, but if you were serving this to somebody and they did want to dunk their Prosecco into it, they would have space to do it. So speaking of Prosecco, let's get our shot glass and let's open up our Prosecco. Oh, let's fill up our nice little shot glass. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> why, why did I not think that was gonna happen? Let's top her up. I mean, it's such a fun way to serve a drink. All right, so. Our porn star martini is finished. She looks absolutely gorgeous. She looks sexy AF, here we go. We've got our beautiful porn star martini cocktail. And of course we have our Prosecco or champagne if you wanna be bougie. We've got our bubbles in our shot glass ready to go. So if you will join me over on my cocktail drinking chair, let's try a porn star martini and see how she tastes. Okay, so we are back in the cocktail drinking chair. My porn star martini is right here. She looks delectable. And I also have my little shot glass of Prosecco. And it is at this point that I feel like we need to discuss how to drink a porn star martini because this is something that I see people asking all the time and everybody has a different opinion on how it is supposed to be drank. And really, Whatever way you wanna drink it is the best way to drink it. However, we have gotten the official verdict from the horse's mouth and Douglas himself has said that the Prosecco shot glass is meant to be used almost as a palate cleanser that you sip in between sips to cleanse the palate of the porn star martini, which is quite interesting. But I actually quite like the idea of sipping on it. You can easily pour it in. It makes the drink a bit more spritzy, a bit fizzier. So if that's what you wanna do, that's cool. Some people serve the porn star martini with the Prosecco already in it. If you wanna do that, that's fine. I'd say if you were ordering it from a cocktail bar and you had a preference, it would probably be good to let them know because I think some bars have a preference on how to do it. But the official way from Douglas himself, who invented the porn star says, it is to be sipped alongside the cocktail. So there you go, I'm gonna do just that. Cheers. Oh my God, so good. I mean, it's just stunning. The sipping method is fabulous. Like I will say the porn star martini, and I know I've said this before, some super sweet cocktails, maybe ones that have like a lot of like orange juice or certain types of fruits, I find a little bit too much or a little bit cloying. This, a porn star martini is not overly sweet. It is a very sweet drink. So that might just be a personal thing, but I don't find this too sweet. I find it tastes, exotic and delicious and really like a desserty cocktail. It's probably the closest thing to like a breakfast smoothie in a cocktail. I just think the passion fruit does that. I think of a porn star martini, like I think of a Bellini. It's just something that I personally think would be great to have in the morning to kind of, if you're on holidays and you want something stunning by the pool, but it is a great dessert cocktail and it's a great one to have if you were going out for drinks and you want something in the beginning that's just fun and flirty and sweet. But I have to say, I probably wouldn't drink these all night just like a lot of sweet cocktails it would probably be too much for me mm. but it is so delicious it's interesting i feel like passion fruit as an ingredient should be used in more cocktails i don't know why it isn't maybe there are loads of other passion fruit cocktails that i don't know about and if there are please tell me because i adore a porn star it is so fun and actually the etymology of a porn star martini i know we've already discussed it how it got its name but it's interesting that because it's such a popular drink with a little bit of a provocative name some places will call it a passion fruit martini or a passion star martini because of you know people who don't want to order a porn star famously there's a story about marks and spencer which is kind of an upmarket supermarket here in ireland and in the uk and they were selling canned porn star martinis and they had to rename it a passion star martini for their more sensitive clientele that didn't want to read the name on the shelves but look it's fine. Anyway, it is a delicious drink. I'm going to go in for more. Mm. So it is now that point in the video where I get to sit back, enjoy my cocktail and answer some questions from my Patreon community. So I have a question here from Ty Henriksen and he asks, what's your favorite word? And actually I should have probably thought about this before filming because I'm trying to think what is my favorite word. I would say it definitely has to be an Irish word. I think the Irish language is beautiful. It's so, so lovely and a lot of words sound incredible. Um, there are some Irish words like railt, which means star, or sonis, which means happiness, and there's a lot of really, really good ones. So it would definitely have to be an Irish word. 
uh, pretty much any of, them, any of them are beautiful, but Railts is probably my favourite. I think I considered getting a, some sort of tattoo incorporating the word Railts because I thought it was just gorgeous or Railsteen, which means little star. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. That's the answer to your question and thank you for asking. Oh my God, am I tipsy already? But I hope you enjoyed watching me make a porn star martini. Again, if you've not tried this cocktail, what are you doing? You need to try it. It's so, so delicious. And of course, if there are any other cocktails you would like to see me make on this channel, or you want me to revisit any of them, just let me know in the comments below. I love hearing your suggestions. And if you'd like to see more easy cocktails that you can make at home, I will leave a link to a playlist up here. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, what are you doing? I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Cheers.